Hey everybody, we just got a bunch of new stuff at the shop, so here we are with another edition of our little introduction slash unboxing. Not really unboxing because we already opened up the boxes, but uh, this way we can get it done quickly because I have to do this at our cache, so it kind of makes it awkward when someone walks in. So we're pretty excited to have some new work tables built for our back, back sharp sharpening area. and. Um, that way we're going to be able to resume our sharpening classes and do more filming in the back uh, without interrupting our regular retail service. So let's just get right into it. We have lots of stuff to introduce here and I want to get it done quickly because we have busy days. So thanks to everyone who's been uh, supporting us online too. We really appreciate that. We've been really busy packing up orders and trying to get them out within the same day or 24 hours. So uh, yeah, we appreciate all the support. Uh, we received a stock up on all sizes of the Hasegawa boards. Super popular wood core boards that are super easy on your Japanese knives. They are just flying off the shelf because people realize just how rad they are. We have four sizes that came in. One really large one, be perfect for butchering whole fish, doing that sort of thing for the professional, and then also just some smaller ones for uh, home cooks. Uh, we got some cool little chopsticks from Japan, some stocking stuffers, have little designs on there, some sakura flower, um, some little waves, some birds and stuff, they're pretty Pretty nice little chopsticks. We have got a restock on our favorite Japanese nail clippers. We have the medium and small size in right now. Perfect little gifts. They were pretty awesome. They, uh, they have a little compartment to catch all your clippings so you don't make a mess. Super sharp little nail clippers. We got a uh, new pruning shears to add to our other bonsai shear collection and the bonsai shears are back in stock too I know there's a couple people waiting for those uh, with some online orders so they'll be shipping out today we have added a few Higo no Kame knives to the site uh, we have a restock on the silver plated ones we were able to get our hands on, uh, I think, 10 more of these Tomita Hammer Tone. I believe these are uh, Shiragame Steel Core. Pretty sweet, hefty little Higo knives. Beautiful gift. We also got our hands on some blue carbon gold plated ones and these super cool Shiragame Sanmai Mount Fuji ones. When they close, they look like Mount Fuji. They have a little bottle opener. These ones are awesome. Uh, we got uh, a couple sets of these ebony handle open out steak knives. Because uh, there's lots of uh, requests for steak knives this Christmas. So um, we ordered a few of these sets just to have them in stock. They're pretty awesome little knives. Remember when you're shopping for a steak knife, you do not want to buy those serrated steak knives. Those are no good. They will tear apart your steak. Always look for something with a straight edge on there so you can resharpen them easily. And these open owls are made with um, Sandvik 12, I forget what it is, 13C26 or um, some type of Sandvik steel. Um, we'll have to just check on the website. I'm pretty sure we've got all the specs updated on this product, but. Uh, Pretty awesome Swedish steel steak knives from Open Owl. 13C26, I think it is. Could be wrong. We'll have to double check. We have got four, four of these, I think. Tojiro steak knives, just from the DP line. Pretty awesome. 
little steak knives from Tojira and Nigata. VG10 core, San Mai construction. Again, easy to sharpen. Nice straight edge steak knife. And it looks like they upgraded their the packaging on these steak knives. Beautiful little box, great gift. So what else? We got uh, we finally received our stock of Dexter Russell oyster knives, the super popular um, Boston style with the wooden handle. Pretty classic oyster knife. Uh, so we have received a box from our friends at Sakai Kitamuri yesterday. Um, we got some of the new Nami knives. So you guys can see that Damascus pattern on there. These are roll forged knives from Sakai Kikimuri. They're made with a core steel of AUS 10A, which is really similar to AUS 8, except it has a, a different annealing process. So uh, it's resulting in a higher Rockwell scale than Oz 8. So this, uh, these should be uh, having a little bit of a higher HRC resulting in a better uh, edge retention, but still nice and easy to sharpen like AUS-8 um, and still pretty forgiving steel. They're pretty awesome. We love these uh, these oak handles. They're lacquered. They feel really great. Nice and water resistant. Um, single piece. This one is a 150 millimeter petty. Awesome little gift. All stainless steel Petty utility knife. There's a 165 millimeter Santoku in this lineup as well. Not too bad edges right out of the box. Definitely usable. We always give it a free knife sharpen too, so the first sharpen is on us. Uh, we tested one out yesterday. They were feeling pretty, pretty good right out of the box, so. Another great gift idea, the Santoku. One of the most common knife shapes you'll see all around the world. This is uh, nice and user friendly because it's a shorter, they're usually a shorter length than a Guto. A little bit of a vegetable bias. It's got a lot of height on there. Knuckle clearance is good. Beautiful little blade. Uh, there's a 165 millimeter Nakiri. Of course, the Nakiri is the vegetable cleaver. That flat profile is meant for the push-pull style of chopping, and it just makes chopping veggies real fun. We are really digging these handles. It's nice for a change, actually, these single-piece handles. And finally, in this collection, there's a, also a 210 millimeter Guto chef knife. This is the one we were trying out yesterday. Nice cutters. A little flat grind right down to the edge on these ones. Looks like maybe a tiny bit of hollow, but they should be easy peasy to resharpen. Spine is nicely um, polished on these ones, so they feel pretty comfortable. The choil is all rounded out too, so that's always a nice feature. Uh, we have one of these blue carbon number one Uzu left, and we are receiving more of these Uzu knives next week from our friend Daisuke Kawamura at Sakai Kikimuri. We're getting some of the the 210 and 240 Guto from him, as well as some petty knives. And these ones are forged by um, Yoshikazu Tanaka. And he is really famous for his treatment of blue number one steel. So awesome little knives, Damascus, ironclad.
So, next up we have a new line of knives from Hatsukukuro. These ones are the Saihio line, which means diamond dust. And these are SG2 super thin lasers. They are made in Seki. Seki is a uh, town that's famous for knife making. It's There's tons of knives that get made there. There's the Seki Cutlery Festival every year. Um, these ones are these ones have a SG2 core and a beautiful Damascus cladding on there. It's kind of mirror so it might be hard to pick up on the camera but um, nicely polished super thin knives. Great little gifts. They have teak handle with a buffalo horn collar. That's the Kiritsuke 150mm Kiritsuke Petty, as well as uh, regular 150mm Petty. Great little utility knives. Definitely could see this uh, being used for cleaning up some proteins and trimming the fat off of chicken breasts or tenderloin, what have you. Should hold their edge for quite a while. That SG2 steel is super hard and we always love it when SG2 knives come into the shop for sharpening because it's a breeze to resharpen them and they get mega sharp. So here is the 165 millimeter Santoku from the Saihio Diamond Dust line. Love that name. They're pretty sick actually. They're really nice knives. These ones are flat ground right down to the edge so they will be nice and easy for resharpening and thinning out when the time comes and they are super thin. They should cut very nicely and uh, be real uh, a pleasure to use for doing intricate cuts and brunoise veg and that kind of stuff. Here is the 165 millimeter Bunka. The Bunka is kind of just like like a Santoku, just, just a little bit cooler I think. There's a pointed tip. Good for getting uh, into the garlic and shallots and that kind of stuff. There's just a little bit less steel right at the very tip there so it glides through smaller things nicely. There is the 210 millimeter Kiritsuke tip Gyuto. It's got a nice, it's nicely rounded up to the tip there too if you're a rock chopper. And still want that fine tipped Kiritsuke style knife without the super flat profile. It's kind of a little bit more of a rocker. There's a 210 millimeter Kyuto as well. The Kyuto is the Japanese chef knife all purpose. Good for doing all sorts of jobs and definitely my most used knife shape is the Gyuto. I like to collect Gyutos. We have lots of them at home. Trying different makers is always fun. This is the 240 millimeter. It just has a nice little laser etch of the Hatsukukuro kanji, which means innocent spirit. And it's just the SG2 stamp on there as well. Looks very nice. We received a little stack of these knives from Takapu Knife Village. So we got some of these Kato, Yoshimi Kato knives. They're awesome. This is a little 165mm SG2 Santoku, uh, a little custom western handle on there, beautiful little mosaic pins, and I'm not sure if you guys can see it this far away, but there's cool little um, square hammered kind of two sheen finish on there, sand mine construction, beautiful knives from Yoshimi Kato. Yoshimi Kato is... Uh, really well-known blacksmith. He's forging some of the knives there for the massacage. And he's always got some interesting one-off knives, so we're always excited to get some of his knives because they're beautiful. 
and uh, we love them. There's also, these are the two shapes that we got in from him yesterday. The 165 millimeter Bunka and uh, 165 Santoku. 165 or 170. Uh, we also got a couple other really special knives from Takafu Knife Village. Uh, this time there are a couple of beauties from Yu Kurosaki, one of the most famous blacksmiths, really well-known name. We got, we were lucky enough to get our hands on a couple of his hand-forged Yanagibas. These are blue number two, I believe. Yeah, they're blue too, mirror finished. They both have um, Karen Wood handle and white buffalo horn collar, silver spacer handles. Beautiful Yanagiba. This is a 300 millimeter. We also received a 330 millimeter. Stunning knives from Kurosaki Sun. Of course, the Yanagiba is for raw meat preparation. We're slicing that fish or that beef really thin. Our sashimi. Very beautiful knife from Kurosaki. We are just super lucky to have these in the shop. I don't know if you can see that mirror polish on there, but it's. Uh, these are pretty stunning sushi knives right here. So as for all this new product, some of the like the diamond dust knives, um, we're just adding those pictures to the site this afternoon. So everything will just slowly be added. And then uh, we will add these special knives probably later on tonight uh, when I send out an email to people that missed this video. So we also received a little uh, add-on to the Shirasagi, the Hatsukukuro Shirasagi series. These ones are single bevel Deba. We got four sizes of the Deba. And uh, the fit and finish on these knives is beautiful. They are forged by Toru Tamura and finished by Myojin. So, these are done by the same people as the Tetsujin knives, the same folks. Different sharpener, sorry, but same workshop. Awesome little knives. Really like flawless, little Kasumi finish there. I have a 150 millimeter, 165, a 180, and 195 millimeters. Nice deba right there for larger fish. Of course the deba is used for butchering fish and taking apart all sorts of fish. These ones, uh, 150 millimeter would be good for some smaller fish like trout or smaller salmon, arctic char, that kind of stuff. And I would reach for this this big guy for some larger halibut or tuna, that kind of stuff. Very robust spine and thick behind the edge there for gliding through the fish skin. And that single bevel design helps scoop along the rib bones and that kind of stuff. Help you, helps you um, really extract all the flesh from that fish. So next up, we have another Hatsukukuro branded knife. This time, this knife is from um, a blacksmith out of Fukushima, who we're not allowed to publish his name, but we can definitely um, let you know if you DM us. But I think that when people get a closer look at this knife, they'll know who it is. So we're really, really stoked to have some of these in the shop. 
this is just the first one that we've got from this blacksmith. And we also have some uh, 210 and 240 Kyuto coming from him as well. This is the white steel core and has a snake wood handle on it, I believe. We'll update all the specs there on the website this afternoon as we go. Wow. Sick knife. This, the finish on this knife is stunning. Super nicely rounded spine and choil. Just the detail on this little Santoku is uh, incredible. So, if you're interested, we can send you some close up pictures. We'll definitely uh, be taking some nicer photos there for the website. So we're really excited about those. And we can't wait to see more work from this particular blacksmith. Yes, that was a snake wood handle on that. Super cool handle. So we were lucky enough to get our hands on another SRS 13 old stock from Yoshizawa-san from Nagara Hamono. This one actually has a, a matching Saya to go with it, but I totally forgot to bring it up with me. But there is a matching Saya um, that we'll put up there on the website with our... I think it's in my office on the shelf. Um, yeah. Beautiful SRS 13. These ones are in high demand. We get lots of requests for the SRS 13, and unfortunately, Yoshizawa san has stopped forging with the SRS 13 steel, probably due to the cost. This one comes with a matching Saya Karen Wood handle and Karen Wood matching Saya. Beautiful little package right there. for the collector, one rare piece from Nigara. I don't imagine there's many of these left, but this is not a deep, one of the deep etches either. This is um, more of a polished Anmon Damascus. Um, just looking gorgeous. All right. <laughs> Next up, we received another one of the Rainbow Damascus knives from Yoshizawa-san from Nagara Hamono. This one's super cool. It's got a really uh, tinted look to it. Kind of a copper, copper look. The edge has been etched for a little rust resistance. It looks super cool. And we have had lots of requests for these Rainbow Damascus from Nigara. So yeah, I think in order to keep it fair, we're just going to drop these, uh, these next few knives that I'm showing to you guys. We're just going to drop them on the website tonight. I'll send out an email and then uh, they'll become available sometime tonight. Probably I'm going to say between 10 and 12 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. They'll be hitting the website. Um, so yeah, we got lots of requests and um, this one, I'm just gonna put it up on the website and whoever gets it, gets it. There has been uh, some private messages to me for these knives. So we have ordered a batch of Damascus, Rainbow Damascus knives from Yoshizawa-san. Um, and uh, we'll be able to fulfill those requests in a few months time. But for now, as I get these one-offs, they will just go up on the site and uh, it'll be first come, first serve for these. I think that's the fairest way to do it. Beautiful, stunning. Uh, we chose to put another ebony handle on this because I thought that first one just looked so nice. I should mention that the SRS, um, the SRS Santoku is uh, not like the super fine tipped 
ni um, production knives from Yoshizawa-san. There is a little bit of convexity to it, so um, not quite a, as laserish as the, his SG-2 series. Uh, same with these, a little bit thicker on the spine and behind the edge on the Rainbow Damascus. Real beautiful knives. And we were so fortunate enough to get our hands on another troll killer. This time we received a 330 millimeter Sekamaru Yanagiba. This one is stunning, like usual. The troll killer series is uh, quickly gaining a lot of um, a lot of interest from the knife world up. And uh, we've had some messages, so we have we do have some troll killers on order as well. But we will continue to grab these when they become available to us. And we have been very, very fortunate to be able to grab a few of these from our shop for our shop. And uh, we're very grateful to the blacksmith for that, because there's a lot of interest in these knives for good reason. They are stunning. They're all hand forged, super unique, random. Um, Damascus. These are made with blue carbon number two. Same with the the rainbow Damascus. I should mention is a blue two core. Nice hard steel. We love blue carbon steel for its just for the ease of sharpening and the way it feels when you're cutting with it. But yeah, you can see the the back of this knife is the hard steel core Hagane steel. Um, and then the soft iron Damascus on the outside of the knife. It's just been layered and all forge welded by hand. Very intricate, over 250 layers of steel. This one has a really cool, that's another Karen wood handle, I believe. It has like a, a little bit of a red tinge to it. So I think it's a really nice contrast against that Damascus. Beautiful. This will be dropping on the website tonight around 10, 11 p.m. our time, Atlantic Standard Time, Halifax time. Stunning knife meant for as well for that pull style cutting for sashimi, raw fish, raw meat. I think that's it. We received uh, another bump up uh, actually on our Masatani knives, so there's lots of those for Christmas. They make rad gifts. Um, that's just about it. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We might have another couple of little contest giveaways coming up here before the end of the year. So also don't forget to um, go and comment on our post. A few posts back, we're giving away Shigeki Tanaka Fiji 10 Gyuto. So you can comment as many times on that post as you want. Every comment with a, someone tagged on there is a chance to win this 240mm VG10 Damascus Gyuto from one of our favorite blacksmiths, Shigeki Tanaka. Razor sharp, right out of the box. Fun knives. Thanks for watching, everybody. Merry Christmas.